So I'd like to talk to you about a specific situation. It's rare, but some children have something called febrile seizures. And parents who have a child who's had a seizure tend to be very worried about fever. And I don't blame them. If your child has a seizure, it's not a fun thing to look at. We're talking about rigid, jerking movements or just that, you know, total rigidity and your child's not able to communicate with you. It's a somewhat scary situation. However, with febrile seizures, this isn't really a dangerous situation. Just be calm, take your own pulse, make sure your child isn't going to hurt themselves if they're thrashing around. But what I wanted to mention with regards to fever is that for children who have a history of febrile seizures which occur between six, and six months and six years, these are children we're going to have you come in more quickly to have them evaluated when they have fever because you don't want them having spiking temperatures for days without us figuring out do they perhaps have an ear infection or a sore throat or a pneumonia or a sinus infection or a bladder infection, something that's treatable. So those of you who have a child who has a febrile seizure, the advice of when to come in is pretty much any time your child has a significant fever so we can just make sure we're not missing something we can treat. I hope that's helpful. Thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. Please join us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And until next time, wishing you health and happiness.